Okay guys, breaking it down, another cognition, powerful cognition, understanding, Sanatana, dir, uh, sanatana Dharma, um, truth about to basically dismantle this whole intellectual Western concept of hypnosis, brainwashing, and mind controlling. So, before we get into the topic, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shinityananda Paramashiva. Now, there is a fundamental cognition that people who believe in hypnosis, mind control, and brainwashing cherish in their inner space, and that is the uh, concept of subconscious. Subconscious means below. Sub means below. So below the consciousness. Below what is consciousness. So um, in order to be, to be, um, in, in, in order for hypnosis, mind control, and brainwashing to make sense, you need to accept the fact that subconscious is possible. And basically hypnosis, brainwashing, and mind controlling is all about accessing the subconscious and implanting what you want in it so that you can make the person uh, respond to life according to that. And that is a very anti-Hindu principle. Uh, it's not a good, it's a concept. It's an anti-Hindu concept. Um, and this is basically why there is no such thing as something beyond consciousness. In the scriptures, Ishavasya Upanishad and so many Upanishads, the Vedas, Nagamas, many Vedas and Upanishads, they talk about consciousness and they say, it is all pervading, it is everywhere. There is nothing more ultimate than that. And Paramashiva is that. When you, one of the trainings that happens, that Swamiji uh, implements in, especially in the Gurukul, uh, in the Nityananda Gurukul, is that children, when they forget any form of information, they should respond by saying, I am avoiding to remember. And that's, it sounds very simple, perhaps silly, perhaps it doesn't make sense for you, but um, it is very deep. Hinduism is all about you realizing your consciousness, taking full responsibility of you and all your dimensions. That is the Paramashiva experience. Um, so that was a big click I got. This subconscious idea is an idea that it, there is something beyond your consciousness that you cannot access. And that is a very powerless based thought current. And people who want to have control over you, they will implement this idea into you because it will keep you in that powerlessness. There will be a gray area created inside your inner space where you will feel that you do not have the power you cannot access. And people, and if, if someone is able to, if something is implanted in that gray area, you become a slave to it because it is beyond your control. So it is just basically um, a concept which is uh, promoting, not taking full responsibility for um, who you are, for your being, for your consciousness. And Hinduism is all about making you realize that everything is pervading, pervaded by consciousness and that ultimately you are that consciousness. So when you say, I am avoiding to remember, you're taking the responsibility that you are not reaching into your consciousness deep enough to pull out what information is required or whatever it is. Um, but that's a very powerful cognition and, and it's a practice actually, very powerful practice, which allows you to remain powerful and at some point to realize that how, what, is it, what it means to take responsibility. And the more and more we practice this, the more and more we realize how uh, we are avoiding to take responsibility in many situations and we are not uh, sincere and authentic with ourselves and others when we uh, when you engage with life so that's a click a, a very short uh, click I wanted to share subconscious 
is a concept from the, I think, psychology, psychiatry. They must have started this whole uh, concept. Uh, and it is not empowering. It is not true, first of all. And it is not empowering. And it is definitely anti-Hindu. So if somebody approaches you with these thought currents, uh, you should avoid them. Because they are trying to make you cherish powerlessness in some form that they can use to their advantage. So there's no such thing as uh, subconscious. Everything is consciousness. Whether you decide to take responsibility and get it or not, that is your decision. But there is nothing that is beyond your reach. It is only your decision. Of course, initially we might feel, you might feel, I felt, and I um, in some situations still feel, that you, know, you don't fully uh, grasp what it means. And that is fine. That's where you know, we need to cherish seeking, surrender, devotion, prayerfulness to enter into the space to unclutch. And in that space of unclutching, we will be able to realize what we seek, what we are looking to realize, what we're looking for. So yes, guys, sub, um, subconscious is a myth. It is not real. It is an anti-Hindu concept. And anybody who is initiated into Sanatana Dharma, and especially if you're initiated into Mahavakyas like Om Nityananda Paramashivoham, or Aham Brahmasmi, or Tattvamasi, or all these powerful cognitions, um, you are free from that huge blind spot, that huge gray area, which is the concept of subconscious, the concept that there is something beyond your, beyond you, beyond your power. So um, if you have any questions, if you faced perhaps these situations, please leave a comment below. I would be interested to listen to, to read to your story. And perhaps, you know, if I have a click, I could also uh, share another video about this. Uh, I think it's a very important topic and it's, uh, it's much more than just people who are uh, just saying brainwashing, mind control, hypnosis. But uh, they're, I'm basically referring to people who are abusing Swamiji and Sangha, saying that I and all the other disciples of Swamiji are brainwashed uh, under hypnosis or mind controlled, uh, which is not true, which is not true. I just wanted to make it clear. <laughs> and uh, some people, uh, but even for those who are not facing these situations, just this very concept of subconscious, something beyond you, it should not be cherished for the simple reason that it is not true. You are Paramashiva. Paramashiva is consciousness. Everything is within consciousness. Everything is within Brahman. You are Paramashiva, Paramashivoham. You are Brahman, Aham Brahma Asmi. So uh, that being said, again, subscribe, click the bell icon to uh, get notified when I upload videos. I upload many videos a day and uh, I do check comments. So uh, feel free to leave uh, comments and like the video. And if you feel that this uh, answer is perhaps, uh, it can answer uh, somebody you know, or if somebody has approached you with some kind of problem and you feel that this video or another video is helping to answer this, then perhaps you can share the link with them. So with this, I'll see you guys. I'll see you in the next video.